What's up with your YouTube? You know what's up with me. One thing I need to do is take one day at a time. Remember one day, you know what I'm saying? We was doing a celebration, me and my lady, right? But you know, doing that celebration, you know, we had uh, you know, we had some disturbing news. You know, she was on the phone making appointments and shit like that. But she was making appointments and she had some disturbing news. But what we boiled down to is, you know, you gotta take one day at a time. What I mean by take one day at a time is you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't know what's gonna happen next week. You don't know what's gonna happen next month. You know, a lot of people they they be beefing with people. They be mad in relationships or they be worrying about bills in the future, financial situations. You worry about all kind of shit. But at the end of the day, you might not make it to the mall you might not make it the next week anything can happen a miracle can happen tomorrow a miracle can happen next week you don't know what the next day folds we were discussing this topic you know what i mean by you know a lot of people you know they lose their faith in god and don't get me wrong i have to everybody has because at the end of the day we're human but we we're discussing the topic about you know people having faith in god and what i mean by you know you can't look at your certain circumstances you can't look at the present circumstances or nothing like that because he can turn it around just like that he can turn it around real quick so you can't worry about you know people worry about their bills being paid and you you're probably looking at your paycheck or you're probably looking at something that you know it's probably you're probably fighting a losing battle you know you're probably getting a four hundred dollar or five hundred dollar paycheck but you got a bill that's worth a thousand or something like that and you don't know what's gonna happen because we can we can live today and we can die tomorrow we can lose today and we can win tomorrow we can win next week ain't that can bullshit but anything can happen here somebody can rob a bank or something well you know what i'm saying god forbid but somebody can rob a bank or something you know what i'm saying they can be run from the police throw the bag in the ditch next thing you know you walking down the street or something you roll down the street you see a nice bag and you look at it, it got like thousands and thousands of dollars in it you don't know what's gonna happen everything on this planet everything evolves and everything happened for a reason everything that happens in this world right now is for a reason and it might be to set you up for success Trust and believe, man. I done had so much bullshit going on in my life. Sometimes you expect bad shit to happen. You expect the bullshit to happen, but you can't do that all the time. I know you get used to it because sometimes it can just be rain. When it rains, it pours and shit like that. But you can't get used to it. It get tough as hell. It's going to mentally hurt you. I'm really, it's gonna mentally hurt you. It's gonna hurt your train of thought and everything because you're gonna lose faith. You be like, damn, I'm really fighting losing battle. All this bullshit happening over and over again, over and over again. But you focusing on tomorrow instead of just enjoying what's going on today. So at the end of the day, keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Because you might blow up next week. You gotta keep faith in the losing battle because at the end of the day, you might win tomorrow or you might win in the next five minutes. Anything can turn around within a split of a second. Anything can happen. Don't you know when bad shit happens, it can be a shootout or something like that. It seems like it's going on forever, but next thing you know, it's only been five minutes. When you focus on the bad shit, it seems like it's taking a long time because you want that pain to end quickly. You want that worry to end quickly. You want everything that you don't want. You want all the uncomfortable feelings in your whatever in your body you want all the uncomfortable feelings in your heart and in your mind to leave quickly and when you want it to leave quickly it takes forever to leave it's just like watching the clock when you're at work or some shit like that you're watching the clock hell you waiting on 12 o'clock and it's 10 30. you look up again it's 10 31 and it feel like you'd have been there forever it's the same thing with problems it's the same thing with issues it's the same thing with having faith in god it's just like it ain't no difference with life you got to take it one day at a time because anything can change within the split of a second but if you focus on the bad shit it's gonna take forever to change because the clock is ticking slower and you started thinking about the pain you started thinking about the grief you, just, you started thinking about being broken all kind of shit you started thinking about the situation and it's just seconds going about one two three but if you take your mind off it and then just think about other shit and just focus on what you got to do be like it's going to be all right it's all good it may be raining right now but the sunshine going to come later time going to eventually pick up and basically while time is picking up, you know, I was just going ahead and enjoy the blessings that you got right now. Enjoy what's going on right now. Everybody's alive and well. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's good. Everybody's good at this certain moment. If anything is going bad, it's going bad for a reason because it might be trying to set you up for success. What I mean by set you up for success, you might be doing a financial deficit or something like that. But at the end of the day, income tax season come. It don't matter. Some people be talking about all people, they got their taxes. Taxes are a blessing too. They are a blessing as well. You work for the money, you get it at the, you get it at the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? You get it at the beginning of the year what you get last year what you did last year so it ain't no damn difference you know what i mean it's just like you know a lot of people go broke and stuff like that but it's a pickup it's gonna always be a pickup from where you fall at you know what i'm saying it might be rough sometimes but at the end of the day you're gonna get picked up the hardest part about going through a storm and going through bad situations and bullshit is patience it's taking time to time for the storm to pass and that's the that's the hellish part that we go through I'm telling you right now, this is the hell is part. You're going to get pissed off, fight mad, and all kind of shit. Because you think about the situation right now, which it ain't, ain't really been going on that long. It's just like when a person passed away or something like that. When they first pass away, it's fresh. The pain is horrible. The pain 
It's just, I mean, it's agonizing. It's causing who you love and who you're close to. You know what I mean? Or it might be a shock. Whatever the case, you know what I mean? Or a job loss or something. But if you take a loss or if you're going through some situations or some shit like that, trust me, when it first start off, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be fresh. It's going to be hell. And you're like, how can I get through this? How can I recover from this? The first thing you think about is how, what's, go how, what's going on? Why? All kind of shit. And it just happened. But... You know, you thinking like, you know, it's supposed to just, you know, automatically ease up. It ain't going to ease up. It's just like life. You got to take one day at a time. Bullshit in life going to happen. Bullshit in life going to happen every day. You know what I mean? It's going to be some shit that's going to come at you every day waking up. But you got to go ahead and just make that choice and decide that you're going to win the battle. Win the battle one day at a time. Just whatever goes on that day, just try to just win that battle. If you're going through financial deficits and situations, as long as you get something to eat, as long as your kids fed, as long as your light bill paid, as long as everything is good for that day, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Anything can change overnight. Anything can change while you're sleeping. Anything can change while you're taking a nap. Anything can change while you're leaving work or going to work. Anything can change while you're eating lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Anything can change just like that for your success. You just got to keep believing, keep grinding, keep pushing, to keep having faith in God, and He's going to get you where you need to be. There's a lot of bumps and curves in the road, and the reason why the bumps and curves are stuck in the road in front of your path, so you can tell people how to make it, you can warn the youngsters or the people that's trying to do what you're trying to do, or the people that's trying to live. People that's trying to live, you can let them know it's going to be some hurdles, but at the end of the day, you're going to get picked up. Because I was going through a situation. I was going through a situation, and my lady told me, she told me, she said, I done been through that same situation before. I done went through it, and I, was, I didn't figure I was going to get out of shit. I I was gonna get out. I ain't figure I was gonna heal. I ain't figure nothing was gonna happen. And you know what? It was a quick turnaround. What shit can be going just like that in your life? Next thing you know, the quick turnaround for success, just like that, and everything just hey, go back to play. It's hard to not worry about it. I know it's hard to not lose your mind and shit like that. I know it's hard. I know you want to click. I know you want to snap and all kind of bullshit. Trust me. I've been down that road recently a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, over and over again. And I ain't the only one because at the end of the day, we all human. It's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with going through bullshit. Everybody that went through it. It ain't a single person on this planet that ain't been through bullshit because I'm going to let you know right now. You just keep living. If you think you ain't been through enough, keep living. But at the end of the day, just take one day at a time. Take your time. Don't worry about it. Life is going to have its hell and it's going to have its heavens. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, everybody go through trials and tribulations. Everybody go through financial deficits. Everybody go through hardships. Everybody go through bad relationships. All kind of shit. Everybody go through the shit. But what you got to do is take one day at a time. Because the first thing you're going to think about is the future. What's it going to look like in the future? What's going to happen in the future? Man, look at all the shit I've been through. Man, but what's going on right now? How you handling the situation right now? How you dealing with the situation right now? All you got to do is just take one day at a time. I'm going to tell you just like this. God didn't make heaven and earth. He didn't make all of this in one day. He took it one day at a time. Okay, rent due Friday. All right, it's Monday. Ain't no telling what can happen between Tuesday and Thursday. A doctor's appointment. You know what I'm saying? You're waiting on the results. The results going to be in tomorrow. You're afraid. Ain't no telling what can happen between overnight. God is working every second and every minute of the hour. You feel me? You might be stuck at a red light or some shit like that. Be like, damn, what's taking so long? What's wrong with these lights? What's going on with this city? What's going on? Why construction won't do their job and shit like that? Maybe God saved you from a car wreck. You in the hospital, you got cancer, you got something wrong with your heart or something. And I'm going to tell you something, the doctor might say, you might not make it or you got some a certain amount of time to live or some shit like that. I'm going to let you know at the end of the day, man did not make your heart. You're in a relationship, you can't stand each other. Y'all getting on each other's nerves and shit like that. Or the kids getting on your nerves and some bullshit like that. But at the end of the day, once you sit back and just chill out for a minute, it's a family having a family is the most beautiful thing you can have in the world. There ain't nothing in this world, really, you know what I'm saying? Everything in this world, it don't do nothing but talk, but bring toxic shit to your brain. You look at the news, it's giving you bad news. You look at Facebook, it's showing bullshit or it's showing pornography or some shit like that. You go anywhere, people talking negative. You go to a job, they're trying to get you to work the shit out you for less pay. And then, you got bills. They're trying to take your money. Everything is going on in this world. If it ain't one thing, it's another. That's why you need to take it one day at a time. Don't worry about no bill collectors. Don't worry about people trying to take your money and stuff like that. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Trust me, I be worrying about the shit too. Because at the end of the day, everybody want to be, you know, successful. Everybody want their bills paid and stuff like that. Everybody done been down that road. Everybody done been down that path. Or everybody going down that road. But at the end of the day, people going to call you talking about they need their money on this such and such a date. And, you know, or your insurance are going to go up. Or people, energy need their light bill. And they need their money so they can keep your lights on. Hell, I need the money too. Because if I had the money, I would have gave it to you ass already. Ready. Take it one day at a time. If your lights on today, we'll worry about this shit tomorrow. Hey, if your rent due next week, it's all good. You got a place to stay this week. We ain't worried about next week. We're worrying about right now. Go ahead, pop your feet up. And, hey, go ahead, pop your feet up and drink your bill.
Gas prices. Gas prices done went up high as hell. Gas prices damn near four and five dollars. You know shit like that. Well, it's over four dollars. But at the end of the day, hey, gas station right down the street. Just go ahead and put you about five or six dollars in there to get you where you need to go. You ain't gotta go and fill it up. You ain't gotta fill it up to the rim or nothing like that. Go ahead and get that regular gas and just go ahead and put what in there what you what you can put in there. And if people ask for a ride, hey, you need to go in. Whatever you put in there, hey, ask them, tell them that you need some gas money. Because at the end of the day, ain't nothing free in this world. Everybody need to grind. But if they ain't got no gas money, hey, look here, ain't nothing wrong with helping them out. Because at the end of the day, if you help, if you look out for another person, God gonna definitely look out for you in a major way. Don't you know how good things happen out of nowhere? People give you stuff out of nowhere. People offer you things out of nowhere. People look out for you out of nowhere. Things just come out of nowhere. You're like, hey, good looking out. That's God. Man, I was going to be single my whole life, man. Dang, I can't believe I'm getting married. That's God. I don't know how I paid that rent, man. That's God. You're the realest thing ever right now. Just like God take care of the birds and all the animals and take care of all these plants and all these trees and he take care of, he control the weather. Ain't no difference than you. At the end of the day, ain't no difference with you. You ain't no different than these birds. You ain't no different than these trees or none of that. So don't worry about the electric bill. Don't worry about the light bill. Don't worry about none of that. When was the last time you seen a bird worrying about the sun coming up so he can get some sunshine? Hey, yeah, I had to come inside, man. Well, it got cold in the motherfucker got there. Well, like I was saying, just like outside, you know, with the trees. You know, ain't no different than the trees, you know what I mean? Because soon as fall hit, you know, the trees start changing colors and the leaves start falling off. Now, the leaves start falling off because soon as winter hit, the tree going to be buck booty ass naked. When the tree get buck booty ass naked, it's going to be buck booty ass naked through the winter. Now, when spring hit, you know what I'm saying, April showers, bring May flowers and all that. You know, when spring hit, the leaves going to grow back. When the leaves grow back, they're going to be better than ever. It's going to be a bigger, better, badder, and sexier tree. You know, we up there talking about fine trees right now. But, you know, it's going to be a bigger, badder, and sexier tree. Just like you. You're going to go through a storm, just take it one day at a time, ride the shit out, just win the day. And ain't no telling what's going to happen. You know, the tree going through winter, you know, you probably be going through something for five minutes. You might be going through something for two seconds for the Lord turning around. Ain't no telling how long you're going to be going through your situation. But at the end of the day, I know it's hard, but just take it one day at a time. Because just like that tree, you're going to come back. And when you come back, you can come back with a vengeance. <laughs>